crisp. What's up everybody? We're doing something a little different today. We're at old Dan Tucker's grave site. Anything? What's up, Spores? We got, I got this little thing right here. Pin pointer? My little pin pointer. Boy, I don't, okay, what we're doing today, um, we're metal detecting. We're gonna try this out and see if you guys like it. I've never done it before. Michael is what, you're, you're a seasoned veteran at this? I wouldn't call me a veteran, but I've been here a couple times. Yeah, he's done it before plenty of times. This is my first time, so uh, I've always wanted to try it out. So we're going to... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I found it. Kick a joy drink. Link to that video will be in the description below. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. We're walking, all right? God, I keep dropping stuff. So we're walking. I got two shovels. He's got the metal tech. The, whatever sifter. that's called, sifter. And uh, we're walking to the grave, and I have no idea how long the walk's supposed to be. He told me like a mile. <laughs> Probably about a half. Probably about a mile. All right, we're here paying Daniel some respects. What's up, Daniel? All right, I'm gonna take that. All right, we got Michael doing our demonstration since he's the master. Uh, not really the master, but I know what to do. All right, metal detecting is pretty easy, explorers. Get you a good metal detector. Don't go to, don't get no forty, thirty dollar one. Those suck. Spend some money on it. This one was only hundred bucks, so it's a pretty good starter. It's a Fisher F2. It's uh, slightly water resistant, so you can go into the water, but I wouldn't go no further than like right here. So you got your. I know, I know the sensitivity of this place. I set it three. Because I've already been here before and the only thing you really need to do is make sure you keep this right here level with the ground and then you're gonna slowly move back and forth it's telling me right here is foil and iron which there's a lot of square nails here we're gonna ignore that and see if we can't find anything else around here Right here, I'm using the pin pointer. It'll show me how far away it is from my coil. Now it says we got something to iron here. Let's check it out. All right, you always want to fill back in your holes or your divots. Some people even like to get expensive uh, gardening shovels that'll cut. They have like a knife blade on it and they'll cut it and then they'll put it back you can't afford that so we're just gonna cover can't that can't afford that yeah those things are like 80 dollars dude it's saying right in front of this tree is either a pull tab or something made out of zinc and the metal detector will tell you usually mine's pretty fairly accurate so i'm actually gonna scrape this a little bit know if we're gonna be able to get out whatever this is being right next to the tree let's get out the little shovels and see what's there yeah it's saying it's Yeah, I thought it was a nail. The nails look like that. It says I'm right on top of it.
And yeah, we might be doing all this work just to get a pull tab, but it is what it is. And if I can't find it after this, it's probably underneath the root. I ain't about to dig like that. We ain't about that life. Yeah, looks like it's under the root. So also, where we're doing this at, this is where his house used to be? Yeah. He used to ferry slaves across the river to uh, set them free. Yep. And he would do it for free. Because he's a good guy. But people would give him like a coin or something. That's why there's a bunch of coins on his grave. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, this is where his house used to be. So, so pretty much we can find some house stuff. Yeah, I found uh, horseshoes, square nails, like wrought iron, cabinetry pieces and stuff. I got them in a little box at the house. Stuff like that. Hopefully we'll find something. Find something under this mouse. Maybe. Maybe. Hopefully. <clears throat> it's a brick. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it's a piece yeah, of a yeah. brick. Do you have a brick house? Yeah, he had a brick house. Oh, he fancy. He had the money back then. He did, man. This is going to be our new Urbex mascot, the worm. The worm. It's the worm. How you doing, little worm? Wally the worm. No, you named him Wally. His name's Wally. No, his name was Wally. I didn't name him. Oh, he did. <laughs> All right. While Michael's digging, I get to look. Had to pass it over to the master. You'll notice, watch the numbers. That's how far away the signal is from the coil. So you want to get it as close to zero as possible. There go. And I lost it. Oh. All right, Noah's found himself a signal. Nice. All right, found. <laughs> Make sure Check it out, Explorers. Yeah. You know what this was? What? Well, by the pitting, it looks like it's metal. I think this was a ruler. I'm just making that stuff up, Explorers. I don't have any idea what that is, but it's cool. I have a ruler. Hold on, let's focus on that. I have a Look. ruler. Yeah, check that My out. first find is a ruler. And it looks like a, actually looks like a beef jerky. Yeah. Right. Now to break away from the metal detecting, we're also going to try to find some uh, arrowheads because branching out, son. So it's been doing a whole lot of raining. Our best bet was to get into where the water is, but usually the water is about out there. And since it's been raining for like, Month straight. We can't really get in there. Yeah. We couldn't find any kind of airhead, so we got we got that back going. We're gonna try to find some more of old Dan Tucker's stuff. We gotta find. We gotta find. Michael's second nail of this adventure. I cannot focus on these things for the life of me. Get it? Nailed. You nailed it? Yeah. Oh. All right, we got Noah looking around. Sweep it back and forth, Noah. In the arc. What? Sweep it in the arc around you, like a half circle. No, on the floor. Yeah. I got iron. Do you want to, do you want to dig it? Okay. Yeah, one right there, right there. All right. Let's dig it out. Yeah, that was a fail. Didn't find nothing but pissed off ants. An iron for tabs. It is either a false positive or something cool. Or something not cool. I mean, we got him on 
one right there. The ironest of irons. Ah, ha, 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 ha. It says I'm right on top of it. Actually, it's saying it's floating in the air. It's floating in the air. It's zero inches. It's actually the first time my pinpoint it worked. But it's it's just dirt. We might need a bigger shovel. Just might. Alright, explorers. I think we might be getting it. Oh, we got it. Yeah. It's Wow. Check that out. It's a bracket. A bracket? It's a straight up bracket. Nice. We're very heavy too. This has got to be just wrought iron. You want to hold it? Whew. I think it's pretty heavy. Yeah, we can get that cleaned up and see what it's like. Good find. Nice, good find. Man, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot as sh Um, But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. Mitch is all the way in Jekyll Island. He got stuff. Uh, you'll probably see him in the next one, hopefully. He missed out. He missed out on the heat. But uh, hope you guys liked this video. Later, explorers.